Hey. Uh, -huh. uh, can you come outside real quick? I have a surprise. Okay. There's a brand new husky in the back of the trailer for you. Wait, no way. Uh huh. I'm serious. Oh, come and see. Okay. Okay, bye. bye. Hey, Lil. What's going on? Come and see. You know how you've been really wanting a brand new husky? Where is it? It's right there. Seriously? Yeah. It's pretty cute, huh? I wanted a husky dirt bike. You're making him sad right now. I can take it back if you don't want it. It's fine, I'll take it. The funny thing about my daughter Lillian is she's just been obsessed with Husqvarna for some reason. I don't know why. They're similar brands. A KTM or a Gas Gas is pretty much the same, but she wants no part of it. She does not want a KTM, does not want a Gas Gas, only a Husqvarna. But you know, I guess like sometimes people are really brand loyal. They love Chevy or they love Ford or they have their team. They love the Dodgers or the Raiders. That's a bad example. Nobody really likes the Raiders, but uh, the Jets or something like people get really funny about being brand loyal and that is Lillian with Husqvarna and it's just ironic that it's the most expensive bike. What's up man? This guy's seriously been staring at me the whole time. What's the deal? Haven't you seen a grown man sitting talking to a camera before? People are so dumb sometimes. Why don't you take a picture with your phone? It'll last longer. <laughs> he's doing it. He's, he's seriously pulling out his phone and taking a picture. Real mature man. Real mature. Now he's getting up. He's got a cane. Why does he have a cane? He's blind. He's seriously been blind this whole time. Yeah. Hey, I got a surprise in the driveway for you. Oh, again? I'm serious this time. I actually have a dirt bike in the driveway for you this time. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's, that's awesome. It is a dirt bike, Lil. It's a husky. You see, I got you. I got it for you. I know you wanted a husky oh, dirt bike. I wanted one. That's right. Okay, <laughs> but... I'll take it back if you don't want it. Actually, I keep this. <laughs> okay, say thank you. That's all you gotta say. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Dude, a KTM 600? What? She probably just stock up on uh, jets, a couple spark plugs. Maybe an air filter if you got it. Alright, well, <laughs> I'm just about home and before I get home though, I just want to give a big thank you to my dad, Grandpa Charlie for helping out with buying this bike, for actually not helping out. Thank you for buying this bike for Lillian because this is going to be huge for her. It's going to help her progress. It's going to help her uh, get better as a rider. It's going to make it so she doesn't have to share a bike with her brother anymore. And it's probably just going to make her whole childhood. She's going to be so excited. And it's an investment in our channel too. So thank you to my dad for that. But I also want to say, Thank you to uh, Edge Power Sports because they were great to deal with. They were a great dealership to work with. I mean, I got there, the bike was already paid for when I got there. So they could have easily just given me the bike and shoot me out the door since they already made the sale. But the salesman uh, took the time to talk to me and did a walk around on the bike with me to make sure I didn't have any questions. But then he did a walk around on the dealership and he's like, okay, so if you have any issues if you need to get some service done this is a service counter this is where you go this is who you talk to and then he took me to the parts counter and introduced me to the parts guys which was really cool i really appreciate that um, i thought edge power sports was a really good dealership so if you guys are local if you're in utah or passing through 
um, check him out. What? Lillian. What? What are you doing? Watching TikTok. Never mind, just come out here. I have a surprise oh. for you. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I have a surprise for you. Okay. Okay. Don't make me wait. Hurry. Hey! Actually got one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Whoa. What do you think? <laughs> Give it a hug. <laughs> <It's> my husband. <laughs> Let's see if it's a good fit. Does that fit good? I think so. Right, so, Lil, huh. remember how I said I was going to Utah for a wedding? I actually drove to Utah because Grandpa bought this for you. Like, it was really hard to find a husky. Grandpa found one, he decided to pay for it. And uh, here you go, it's yours. Will this work for you? Is this okay? Yeah. It's got a hydraulic clutch. Dude, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. What? Finally, you're finally happy. I know, I finally got the first, a husky. How long have you been wanting a husky for? A long, Ever? long time. Yeah, for a long, long time. Nice. All right. Should we go rip it? Yes, yes. There's actually a kid over here on a Husky 50. 
Man, I'm like, dang, that bike looks small. I can't believe Mason was riding that thing just a few months ago. Lillian, you got a little bit of time on your brand new bike. Come on, come over here. Everyone's dying to know, how do you like it? I really like it. Uh, do you notice a difference between this and the YZ? Yeah, it's better. <laughs> it's better? What do you like better? What do you mean what do I like better? I don't know, do a review. Does it fit, like the feel, the reaction, better. clutch? Like it just rides better, it's easier to throw RPMs up on it. Suspension's better. better. It looks better. I honestly, to be to be honest, usually when you get a new bike, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. Even if it's a faster bike, it takes you a little bit longer to co get comfortable and get up to speed on it. I honestly thought you were going faster on this bike like right away. Yeah, it's, I feel more comfortable on it. I feel, yeah, comfort's a big deal, but I feel like you definitely are going faster on this thing. Thank so Lillian, there is a race tomorrow at Albany. I know you haven't been riding long on this bike. Oh, I think I'm ready. You ready? So. You're ready to do, you're ready to race at uh, Albany tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm really Wait. glad to hear that yeah. because I have a surprise for you. Wait, what? I got a really big surprise what? for you. I was cleaning out, I, hold on, grab, hold on, take, take the camera. I was cleaning out the attic and when I was cleaning out the attic, I found my old Honda racing jersey. <laughs> And Why I'm gonna, is it like fabric and not like a normal jersey? I'm gonna let you wear this in your no. race tomorrow. You can wear it, serious, seriously. Gonna I'm gonna let dirty. you. It's okay, I don't mind. You could wear it. I want you to wear it in the race. No. No? No. <laughs> I'll wear it at Loretta's for you if I ever go. <laughs>